What is up, Hammerheads? Welcome back to The Forge. Today, we're being equipped from the Amble. Stay tuned. As I said, guys, we're being equipped from the Amble today. I am starting a series that I'm going to try to do weekly messages. I don't know if they'll be every Tuesday or I'm going to change the day up on it. But it's going to be Rise Up, Man of God. And the reason why I'm doing these messages is because there are so many influencers and influences out in the world that tell men not to be men or tell men to be completely opposite of what a true man of God is. And the first message in my in this series that I wanted to talk about, wanted to bring, is you're not dead, God can still use you. And there's many messages out there uh, that actually have that same title. And I heard this from another minister the other day, and all I heard was, you're not dead yet, God can still use you. And my mind instantly quickened to some scripture, and I stopped the message that the guy was speaking because I don't want any of their influence in. I just wanted God to lead me. So before we get started, guys, I'm going to pray. So wherever you're at in the world, if you'll bow your head for a second, give reverence to our Lord and Savior. Father God, we thank you for today and this time that we get to be together. Lord, we pray that you touch each man to increase them in the confidence in you, Jesus, so they can be confident in their life. God, that men of God rise up to take the reins, to teach the next generation how to be true men and believers and followers in you, Christ, in you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you for what you're going to do. Lord, and we thank you for where you're going to take us. In your holy name, Jesus, amen. So the scripture that I'm taking this morning came from this little anvil right here. Now this little anvil don't look like much. I'll bring the camera in close so y'all can see it a little more. But it has some, some marks and dings and wears on it and it was discarded. Or somebody didn't want it. I found it at a scrapyard. And I cleaned it up, had it resurfaced. Because I seen potential in it where the world seen that it was dead. My scripture today comes from John chapter 11. And this is when his friend Lazarus had died. And Jesus was on his way to see Lazarus. He waited four days. He showed up four days late. And Martha come running out to him and she said, you know, he, he's dead. You know, he, he's been dead for days. He's been dead for four days, you know. And they had given up hope. And Jesus said, take me, to the take me to where he's at. I'm paraphrasing, guys. Y'all need to go back and read this. And I'm going to be reading, I think this is the New Living Translation version that I'm going to be reading out of today when I get to the scripture. Go and read this, though, because it's going to hit you deep. But Jesus said, take me to where he's been laid. So they take him over, and they look, and he sees the stone, and everybody's telling him, you know, he's been dead for four days. They thought Jesus come to mourning. And Jesus says, roll the stone away. In verse 39, Jesus says, roll the stone aside. Jesus told them. But Martha, the dead man's sister, protested and said, Lord, he has been dead for four days. The smell will be terrible. God quickened my spirit and brought this scripture to mind whenever I was looking at this little anvil. Set my Bible over here for a second. See, this little anvil's been through some stuff. It's been abused, it's been beat down, it's been tore down. People would look at it and think it's useless. And I've talked on a past message about this, how you're not useless to God. And this kind of goes along the same route, but a lot of men feel dead. They walk around defeated. They walk around beat down on the outside. They look dead and beat down. And we have scars and we have, you can see it on our face, you can just see it all over that we've been dead for a long time. 
Because society tells us that we're supposed to be a certain way. We're supposed to act a certain way. If we're not this, then we're toxic and we're deadly to everybody else. And it beats us down because we can't truly be men. But God quick showed me, like with Lazarus, you might look dead on the outside, but if you have a strong core, God can still use you. I know what y'all are going to ask me. So what's this have to do with this anvil? If an anvil is dead, that means there's something on the inside of it that keeps it from ringing. It has nothing left in it. But what I'm telling you is, is even if you have the faintest ring, Y'all hear that ring? It even has some rebound to it. Look, I can put my hand here. It still rings. That's very important. Because as a man of God, you might be beat down on the, in on the outside. You might be tired. But where your core's at, where your core belief is, your core walk with Jesus is, if it still has a ring, God can still build you up. And I don't want you to give up. I don't want you to be discouraged. I want you to rise up, man of God. And I want you to start letting God use you to be the leader of your house, to be the leader of your business. And I don't mean work in a sense. I do mean if you have your own business, be the leader of your business. But I mean you handle your business. Walk upright. Be proud that you are a man of God. Because there's a difference between between being prideful and proud. Prideful means you run around and you boast and brag about all this stuff. Being proud means you have a confidence, not just in yourself, but confidence in God. In the scripture, and I'm going to paraphrase this, but you, if you read the book of Job, Job was this amble. At one point, this amble was brand new and had everything. And then one day, God and the devil were having a conversation. And he said, ask the devil, where have you been? He said, I've been flowing to and fro. I've been going you know, to the earth and back and forth, basically going to mess with people. And God looked at him and said, have you considered my servant Job? And he said, but you have a hedge of protection around him. The moment I attack him, he is going to just quit believing in you. And God said, you can do anything you want to to him, but you can't kill him. And then Job started getting beat and knocked down and tore up. And he started getting scars and marred up. To the point where everybody that knew him, his wife, even looked at him and said, you just need to curse God and die. His friends turned his back on him. But in the end, because he stayed faithful, he stayed so faithful in God, he was blessed 10 times more than what he had. And what I learned from this, this history, I don't like saying story, because when it's history, that means it's it happened. If it's a story, a lot of times it means it's made up. But what I learned from this history of Job is that God had so much confidence in him. Just like God has so much confidence in you. That when the enemy came bragging and was all prideful about how, how great he was and how many people he messed with, he looked at you and said, I have this much confidence in you. That you won't back down, you won't pack away, and you won't run away the first time it gets hard. Yeah, you'll get scars, and yeah, you'll get beat up a little bit. But when you come out the other side, you've been purified like silver. Actually, you've been purified better than silver. And you have a confidence to know that God has confidence in you. So rise up, man of God. And fight. Don't back down. You keep pressing. You keep that core. Because if you've got a strong core, 
You've got a ring and God can use you. Guys, I pray that this message blessed you. I pray that God anoints you. And if you're in the Udawah, Tennessee area, you can come out and check out my church. It's Calvary Life Fellowship. I'm the pastor there. Come out and see us. But then, I know this might sound crazy, but this is how I dismiss every service. If you raise your hand up here, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May he lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray God's blessings over each and every one of you. And rise up, man of God. If anyone needs any prayers, put them in the comments. All you have to say is need prayer and God knows. God bless. Keep hammering.